So, got to replace this. This is our SQF certification right here. And let's see. Yeah, just finished it. Let's swap this out. Third year for us. Third year. Puffed some uh, dust in your eyes. So what we got to do here is Zach is making some side bungs. All of these barrels have a top bung, but when we run our systems and dump our barrels, we dump out of the top. So we have to get a special, we use a, uh, a bit, let me show you. White oak is so hard, these are the bits we use, and we only get about three to four holes, and then we use some diamond lapping compound I can tell by the temp that this, but this baby's hot. So Dean and I will sharpen these. I'll show Dean how to do it and get these babies ready to go. So it smells amazing. It's messy, but it smells amazing. If you guys save this for me, the chickens love this. How about this for the old chickens, huh? Look at this. Chickens love white oak. It smells amazing. Why is he doing this bad? Oh no, you're just spinning it. So they're bottling today, and I'm gonna show you what the uh, how the forehead fillers work. So we bought two forehead fillers from Lapierre. Uh, we, I believe we bought the first one in the United States and Carl Lapierre and I had some communication. He made some upgrades based on some recommendations, improvements in parts. And when we bought the second one, it was definitely a slightly different build. Uh, these forehead fillers from Lapierre, in my opinion, are the best filling systems that you can buy with, from the Maple Equipment Company. So if you bottle a lot of syrup, uh, you're going to have a hard time for the price finding something better. And what I'd like to do is go through this with you so you can see how these machines work, um, how we use them. Uh, there's different ways you can use them. Uh, for us, we use pressure pump through the system. Let me go through and show you. These guys are running two forehead fillers today. So, Dino's got a good rhythm going. I'm going to show everybody how these things work, Dean. I guess I'll start at the beginning. The pumps. I'll start at the very beginning. Morning, Melissa. So what these guys do is they actually have syrup circulating in these kettles. So they use a pump. They use a kettle and they keep the temperature of the syrup warm here. And it's a big loop, so it circulates from the bottom of the kettle, through the pump, comes down this hose, it goes in here, that's important, comes up, down, and back to the kettle. So this little elbow is important because you need a little bit of head pressure. These valves are very important because Dean wants them to fill at the same fill level. And the whole thing's on a timer. So these are called overflow fillers. So what'll happen is they'll overflow so all four levels are the same. So Dean has this set up on a timer. So 11.9 seconds. And over time, Dean, do you have to adjust that much? Yeah, a little bit. Depends so on the heat of the syrup, it'll fluctuate in time. The level in the tank affects it. And yeah. 
So if you watch, Dean hits the button, the head comes down, it's filling through this nozzle on the bottom. And there's an O-ring there, and there's an O-ring up here. And you gotta catch that drip, that's the key. You gotta catch that drip, or you'll get it on the, on the floor, or on the unit. Nice. So Kyle just replaced our overflow buckets. If you lift that up, there you go. He's got it figured out. Not only are these guys filling, they're capping. And inverting. And inverting. <laughs> That's amazing how fast they go. So while this is filling, what Dean does, he gets his next four bottles ready. So he's got 11.9 seconds between each fill. This machine replaces a person with a valve and you get a perfect fill every time. So with glass, it's called a cosmetic fill. You want everything filled to the same level. So a cosmetic fill, glass is actually more imperfect than plastic. So if you try to fill exactly to a volumetric level in glass, it's actually gonna be different each time uh, because the glass is all imperfect. It comes from different molds, it's different amount of glass. So in this case, we actually want the level to be the same. So some bottles actually get a little bit more syrup because on the shelf, you want everybody to see that the syrup's at the same level. That's going to irritate people more than anything. So as the syrup shrinks, when it cools, the syrup will shrink. So you can see syrup that's been on here longer will actually look like it has a lower vo volume. So these are hot. See how it's up in the neck? As it cools, it'll actually drop to a lower volume. So we'll take this guy and just show you. This is hotter syrup. This is syrup that's been cooled down. So we got Jody over here rocking and rolling. Can't believe there's no ACDC going here this morning. What's going on? <laughs> so Jody's got the original machine. This is the original forehead filler we purchased. Notice it doesn't have the, uh, the big overhead cut out laser and we put a lot of syrup to these forehead fillers to set up this large line takes a lot of time so when we have to do custom orders these forehead fillers are great for a short run so why those bottles are filling Jody's capping It's all about rhythm. Just like ACDC, it's all about rhythm. <laughs> Sweet. So notice her fill time is 12 seconds, so it's slightly different. Indeed. So it's filling through the, the tip of that nozzle. It'll go up through the tube and overflow out the back. So they're all gonna be the same level. So oftentimes it depends on pressure. That one over there has a pressure gauge, which helps us. So this is running at seven PSI through this line and it comes up. And what happens is, is when those depress on the, on the bottles, go ahead. It opens the valve, and that little head pressure in that pipe is just enough that it'll go down in these bottles as opposed to going back. We want to fill these glass bottles. So this is this is the spicy pappy syrup, isn't it? Yep. Good stuff. All right. 
go look at what we got going on here. So Kyle's dumping glass. He's keeping both parties filled. So this is the ink jetter. We put a bottle on here. And it puts a, a lock code on there. It's hard to see with dark syrup. But there it is. It's got a lock code and a date timestamp. We'll follow these bottles down. So these are doing a front and back label. This is spicy maple syrup. Hmm. These labels going on okay? Go ahead, Linda. I got her. I got her. <laughs> First tote shipping out. Homemade Bissell Maple Farm pallets. Right here. First tote with a Bissell pallet. Shipping out. This is our Vermont ingredient grade spacecraft totes. So you're doing some math? No, I'm letting my phone do some math. Yeah, I see that. Look at that. You need a crayon? 23. <laughs> you got one? It wouldn't pass. I don't know if I have a big enough one for you. <laughs> Only if it's in a pretty color. <laughs> <laughs> 